They're just little short vignettes of what it was like after art school to have a commercial art studio. I never knew what was coming the next day and I loved it. Except there was times when I felt a little bit scared of the unknown and this is one of those times. I was working in my studio. I hear a knock at the door. I'm thinking, I'm not expecting anybody. I'm not going to answer it because I was on the second floor inside of a secure building. Everybody that had reason to knock would have told me. I used to get calls from the, from the lobby saying, hey, Mike, so-and-so is coming up. I did not get a call. Boom, boom, boom. Door got louder. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, what do you want? They're like, it's the police. And I'm thinking, I didn't know how to work with the police or not work with the police at that time. And I'm like, mm, just a minute. I opened the door. I had double doors. And there's two cops, men in blue, standing there. And I'm like, what's going on, guys? We got kind of an unusual project for you. Can we come in? Now, I wouldn't let that happen, but I'm like, okay, what do you got? And there's this one guy, he was the size of a house, I mean, big guy. And the other buddy was a little more slender, but they were tough Chicago guys. And he said, and I won't know if I get the ranks right or not, he said, my buddy John here is getting promoted and he wants to have his badge here, which he has to turn in, he wants that badge to be put on his coffee mug. So can you make a mold of the badge, translate it into porcelain so he can connect this? I think it probably was a sketchy request, but I said, sure, <laughs> no problem. And he said, well, we gotta do it right now because I can't let go of the badge. And I'm like, oh, right now, right now. Well, luckily I had this skin safe silicone from the plastic surgery lady. And I just took the badge and I brushed on the material and I had some extra material left. And I said, you guys want, this is skin safe. I said, you want to see this? I said, forensically, it's fantastic. It gets fingerprints. I said, give me your hand. I'll put some on it. Well, the one guy had his hand by the, his gun the whole time. I'm like, dude, you're like 300 pounds. And I said, give me your hand. And I reached for his right hand and he puts out his left hand. He said, no, not the other hand, I'll give you this one. And I was like, oh, police training. And I put the goop in their hand and immediately they don't like to feel anything impairing their hand motion. But I said, look, just, you know, come on, we're the only ones here, just wait it out. And when it set and I peeled it off, they were like, this is fantastic. This is, you know, your fingerprint stuff here. This is great. And then it loosened up and it was more, more playful. And I don't know, I charged him like a hundred bucks or something like that. And he wrote a check and he left and he said, I'll be by to pick it up in a couple days. And that was that. But I was nervous why the police were there because at that time I was not announcing that I had a business anywhere. And I thought, oh my God, how does Chicago work? I was scared. So I was scared of nothing. And it turned into this quirky project for this police officer. And I think he got promoted. He's probably retired by now. And I think he was just very proud of the role that he had and he was moving up into the ranks and didn't want to forget what it was like when he was a young cop. So I thought it was an admirable thing. Legal, I don't know, but yeah, it's as done as done. Thanks for joining, take care.